Hello friends, welcome back to my another video on my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. I hope you all are doing fine. Well friends, today I have received one parcel for repair. See, it has came from uh, uh, Pune, Maharashtra. Uh, he is one of my YouTube customer. He saw my video on YouTube and he sent this for repair. So let's check out what is inside. So we will start dismantling. So guys, this is a power swap amplifier. This is K3. See guys, this is K3 power swap amplifier. So this is came for repair. So we'll just remove, remove this out. So we'll start working on this. So what we'll do, we'll connect this power. We'll connect the power and check what is the status. So guys, we'll connect the power. So now, so what we'll do, we'll connect in series, my friend. So this is my series connection. So this is my series. So we'll now what we'll do. This is my series connection. We'll put it on. So I have putting on now from here first. First from here. So. I see the light, light is directly brightness, too much bright. See, I put it on now. See, I put it on, but the light is very bright. It means there is a shorting is there. So we will not connect this direct to the power. This is in series now. So the light, the, the bulb is very bright. So we will put it off first. So it means, uh, it means the, the bulb is bright is glowing very bright it should not supposed to be glow that much bright so it means that there is a badly shorting is there inside so what we will do we will not connect it directly otherwise our circuit breaker will trip or some something uh, burn so better we will first open this one and we will check what has been happened inside any shorting is there or not so we will put it off I will disconnect this one we will disconnect the cable also power so now we will remove all the screws over here So guys, we have opened this one. So let's check the condition of the fuse. Shorting is there not so what we'll do we'll just remove this one This sorry, uh, we need to check this IGBT. Two, there are two IGBTs over here, so we need to check this one because if this is gone, means everything is shorted. So see some black we can see over here. So anyway, we'll check some. Uh, we'll check any shorting is there on the. See friends, shorting is there. You can hear buzzer. See shorting is this IGB are shorted. See both, both swing. So what we'll do? Both IGB is shorted. So better take it out this one completely. Okay guys. Thank you. 
and somebody tried to repair this before and see. This two Egypt is gone. So one more time we'll check. See it is shot it very badly. Shorted very badly. So this is shorted very badly, friend. So what we'll do? We'll check see somebody try to repair also before here. I'll show you. See. So anyway, we'll check. So friends, we'll remove this all. So we'll remove these two IGBTs. So guys. So number of this IGBT is G4 PC 50 UD. G4 PC G4 PC 50 UD. Both IGBTs. Both are IGBTs. So now we'll check the exact ohms. How much is showing? See, we short it. Very badly. So both are shorted, friend. See, both are shorted. So this is very badly shorted. So we'll check the range. There any shorting? No. No. So no shorting my friend. So there is no shorting. Okay. So only this two has gone. So if we replace this two with the new one. So might be our problem will get solved. So there is no shorting. No. See. There is no any shorting. So only these two IGBTs will replace it with the original new one. So there is no shorting. Okay. So we'll replace this with the new one now. I will just check. So friends, as you know, this is already gone. So this is the old one. So I got the new one, original one. Thing. This is the original one. This is the original one. This is the original. This is the, you know, this is IGBT with the insulated gate bipolar transistor. This is the original one uh, with ultra fast recovery diode. Uh, you know, um, the working voltage and ampere of this IGBT is. This is working on 600 volt and 27 ampere. So this is the original new one. So anyway, I'll just show you the, how to check this one IGBTs. This is very high ampere IGBTs, my friend. So this is see, there is no any shorting. Okay, this also same. Okay. So in IGBTs, my friend. So friends, in IGBTs, the three terminals, this is gate, collector, emitter. So between collector and emitter, see I must get some ohms like this, but in gate, nothing. See, okay, this gate, collector, emitter. So the total three terminals are there. See, anyway. uh, see this one, this is the faulty one. See, it is showing shorting. Okay, 
so now what we will do this is our faulty one so this is our new original one the number of this was g4 pc 50 ud okay guys this is uh, igbt with uh, value of 600 volt 27 ampere so we will just clean this area and we will fix this so we will start cleaning So guys, we have to clean. Okay. So friends, so finally we'll fix this one. This is the new one, and this is the old one. So we'll fix new one now. Okay. So friends, we have already sold, replaced the faulty IGBT with the new one. Be careful guys, you know in market the, the second quality also available. So if you put that IGBT, so of course uh, it will blow off uh, because it's a low quality. So always use the original one. So try to get the original, it's a little bit expensive. but it's well and good if you buy that one because in market also copy also available the same number so but if you put that one it will be less price also so if you sold up that the scan quality igbt so naturally it will look for a few minutes and it will again get shorted and your circuit breaker will trip or, or either your fuse will blow off so friends now we have already replaced the new one so now we'll check the some ohms so that we can come to know the diode is okay so now no more shorting see no more shorting we put on the buzzer range just charge discharge see no more shorting so friends it means we have replaced the original one igbt's so now We'll fix, we'll fix all the screws and supporter everything then we'll put it on just keep watching my video guys so friends we have already connected all the screws with the support of the heatsink it should be very tight to fix it because the heatsink should get uh, the temperature should transfer to the heatsink so now we'll put it on and we'll check what is the status so guys so already I have connected the power okay so now we will put it on and check okay guys so we will put it on I will put it on now I put it on now so See, so guys, it's working. See, so it's working. Okay, so guys, it is working. See the lights here is working. Here, there is a light. This is the DC bus light, so it means it's working fine. Okay, 
so we have replaced two uh, IGBTs that is the fault only okay guys okay guys thank you very much for watching my video take care if you have any comments or any suggestions please leave it in the comment box see you very soon next video bye bye